I would say that Eastern enlargement um, of NATO and also of the EU, but particularly of NATO, has not contributed to more insecurity in uh, uh, the eastern part of Europe. I think it really depends on the paradigms where you stand from the, from the perspective of the Central and Eastern European countries. They actually sought that actively to increase their security vis-a-vis uh, -vis a country that they expected not to respect their nationhood. What was one of the problems, I think, is that the Western par parties were a bit too victorious and they lacked the information about Russia and uh, understanding where Russia would be after that kind of defeat in the Cold War. And so NATO was pretty much surprised by Russia's actions in the last two years. So it has increased that both sides do not really understand each other and the security front has hardened in recent two years. Uh, you can see that by NATO's uh, planned deployment of troops at the eastern border that only will need more Russian deployments on the other side. So in the moment, we're facing a pretty increasingly insecure situation at the border, but it has nothing to do with enlargement per se. It has more to do with a lack of understanding each other's paradigms and the lack of cooperation.